pictured herself in her very own lavender dream bedroom set. The lace curtains would match the ruffled canopy on the bed, and she'd have her own, and she'd have her very own dressing table. To sleep in that room would be like dreaming on a fluffy marshmallow. But what good would a fancy bedroom be without Grandpa there to tuck her in and tell her bedtime stories? No deal. Ten thousand. Yep, yep. Ten thousand dollars. Wouldn't that buy an entire ice cream shop with every frozen flavor ever invented and sprinkles and chocolate chips and hot fudge? Lizzie could have an ice cream shop with lots of customers who would actually buy something. Selling ice cream would be certainly more fun than dusting antiques. But how much fun would it be without Grandpa there to make his super duper tremendous stupendous ice cream sundae deluxe? Lizzie shook her head no. No. No? Wow. $50,000 and that's my final offer. Lizzie's knees wobbled. She felt woozy. With that much money, she could build an amusement park with the loopiest roller coaster ever, and her friends could ride for free any time they wanted. Lizzie dwelled on this vision for a full minute. But what good would an amusement park be without Grandpa there to scream the loudest? Mrs. Larchmont. Not everyone has a price, and not everything is for sale. Well, if we can't buy everything I want, then I won't buy anything at all. Yip, yip. And she swept out the door in a furious huff. Lizzie kissed Grandpa gently, then walked over to the cash register. Smiling, she pushed the red button. Ding. No sale. The, the end. end.